the state, if that is contributing one of uh, the largest to the GDP of the country, and if construction is one of the largest uh, industries in the country, how does sustainability impact uh, that? Uh, primarily, you know, we adopt various practices, uh, and we have invited this guest specifically on a sustainability practice over here, just to experience us and then say that okay, if you are housing your office and uh, a place therein should be sustainable enough to work and operate out of which means a green building initiative is a must energy efficiency uh, reducing uh, of waste and uh, all that which is there associated with our offices <coughs> and hence uh, we welcome you to Kohinoor World Awards uh, anytime when you uh, look at your office space and uh, we, we are uh, really looking at hosting more events along with you with an A plus grade facility. When, a, when we say A plus grade facility includes the sustainability practice. Because if you are going to be carbon neutral by uh, 2030, 2040, whatever it is, this will become one key function because you know this is probably about 25% of your uh, sustainability practice which comes in your office environment. So hence, I'm just relating that to the criticality of this uh, while everything else apart uh, for the investment and the growth opportunity that they are in. For sustainability, you must take an office in a uh, gold rated, IGBC gold rated building. If you can, go in a world house in the best place. Thank you. Thank you.